hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today it's sunny and i was trying to show my face and my shoes at the same time this is a point where i get to insert that video that talks about how you shouldn't keep your favorite shoes for the for the best you know moment of your life because of the way next of kin be is <laughs> but anyways i'm going on uh, grocery shopping today and this should be part two of the first vlog that i dropped so I'm going to get some things that we eat as Nigerians that you wouldn't believe are even in the normal shop. So I hardly go to the African store because, you know, I can get almost everything I need from this particular store. It's a very big store and I'm going to be showing you that in this video. I also promise I'm going to look very beautiful in my next video. And I, can, I think you could see that from the first from the first um, video, you know, I was sh I was looking fine. My face is fine. My shoes shiny <laughs> as it should be. And... So I had to go to the African store and when I do, it's just for yam, beans, um, okra and very, very few items. Trust me, I hardly go there. So of course, that is our tatashe and this is sweet potatoes. It's orange fleshed, which is even more interesting. We have rodo, yes, rodo in a normal store. And this is yellow, but sometimes we have the red and it's really hot like other than the ones we have in nigeria trust me and then this is another type of road i think this is the one we use for our atagigo and you can see it has a one to ten scale and that shows how hot it is and from that scale we can see that this is a nine and the first one i showed you is an eight then we have banana as well i wouldn't say this is even special because we have them everywhere but this is so sweet and there's a normal store just like this that sells plantains that we use for dodo i think it's called that hat then we have our titus fish <laughs> yeah we call it titus in nigeria yep it's also available then the seasoning cubes i don't buy my seasoning cubes from the african store i buy them from here we have the maggi our own maggi yeah then but this is my preferred um seasoning cubes and then we have oats i bought one oat i didn't like but this is the truth that perfect and this is the um spaghetti pasta rack so we have different types of spaghetti and this one is um two to three minutes cooking time and this is let me see just a moment please yep and this is 10 to 11 minutes which is too long for me mm. it don't feel like dangote and onion spaghetti <laughs> yes and we have the 8 to 10 minutes this tastes just like onion spaghetti perfect for your nigerian tongue then you see these words the percivio the mam lady so i didn't know it was supposed to make my shopping easier i to be honest i never paid attention simply because i don't even understand czech language the very first place until i went to the uk which is an english-speaking country and i tried to shop from asda then i saw how these letterings on the wall on the racks actually made shopping way easier and seamless so um that's just one of the cons of living in uh in a non-english speaking country you don't get to interact with the product as much as you should i'm very sure there are so many things that i'm yet to discover in this um country in this shop that fits my nigerian taste board that i'm yet to discover simply because i cannot interact with the language so just here is um uh, an audio of what czech language sounds like tropical fruit that's pineapples this is coconut and this one i think i know it but i'm not sure so i leave it to you guys to figure out what that is and then we have the onions yeah they are they come in white and purple this is not a big deal because i think onions are pretty much everywhere but yeah now we have our chickens which taste just like old layers and then we have this is this thing it tastes just like semu as in semu exactly another reason why i really don't go to the african store <laughs> And this is the rice section so for me i have parboiled rice simply because that's just what my taste bud likes i didn't grow up eating basmatic rice so i would not i don't know i just don't shop it i just prefer my, my rice parboiled that's all yep then this is the salt i once bought salt in place of sugar just because i couldn't read what was on it but then this is salt which is also not a big deal because almost every store has salt you get what i just wanted to tell you about my salt sugar experience here and then here we have our efo, our shoko yokoto, eh? our spinach. Yeah, this is it in frozen cubes. I love this so much. So this is another, another reason why I don't frequent at the African store. And then here we have the smoked fish, which is perfect for your efo, your egusi, and all of that. That's salmon. I didn't grow up eating salmon, so it's not a big deal for me. And then we have our inue. In, mm, I'm sorry, I spoke your river. Our chicken gizzard and the other one is the lima. I heard some of you like 
you have your food fetish and some of you like eating chicken legs chicken feet it's no problem we don't have that one here but they are chicken necks for you that like <laughs> that have food fetish because i don't know i guess to get into a pack into into a store and buy a pack of chicken feet but anyways i'm not here to criticize or judge anyone. i'm just trying to show you how or what check living and shopping for groceries in czech republic is like also we have the puddings that taste just like custard and then yeah that's me <laughs> And then we have the sardine, tastes just like sardines, title sardines in Nigeria. And then we have this one that tastes just like geisha. Yeah, it has that tomato paste that comes with geisha. It's, it's called erin, but it just tastes just like geisha. I love it so much. It's canned fish in the entire store. It's the spice rack that has almost every spice that you could ever think of. The curry, the thyme, coriander. Yeah, so if you want to shop, as a Nigerian in Czech Republic, I hope these few things actually help you with the shopping process. Trust me, I struggled with it coming to the country and not knowing what exactly to buy. It took me months to discover this product that I'm actually showing you, but it is what it is. This channel is all about making your life here very easy, despite the language barrier. So if you made it this far, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment box. Thank you.